I am yep. going to call the meeting to order because we are recording now. Oh. That doesn't really help. Um, it is 5.12 p.m. All right, so you'll see Beth to um, the next email you get, you'll, you'll get an email that'll tell you when we're having meetings um, that will have the Zoom link in it and we'll have the agenda. We follow the same agenda at every meeting. It's just sometimes things change like sure. new business, old business, the topics in those categories change, but we have the same like six or seven categories at every meeting. Um, so the first thing we always do is go over the last meeting's minutes. Um, so like Linda will email the minutes out after she compiles them, after she types them up. And then um, you take time between that meeting and the next meeting to go over them. And if you see any errors, even if it's like a typo, whatever, um, you just make note of it. And then when we go over them at the next meeting, we'll discuss that and then approve them or deny them. We've never denied minutes. Um, sometimes we amend we'll, them a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes if there's an error, then we will approve them as amended, which gives her the, you know, the permission to make correct the error and then just post them to my town government. Cause she cannot post them until we've approved them. Okay. So, so Lynette for the minutes or, or, and for the record, should we state that Jean is going to be resigning and everything? How should okay. we well, that is going to be, I'm going to put that officially on our minutes. That will go into trustees concerns. That's right. Okay. All right. Our, so I'll wait on that. I'll wait okay. on that. But um, mm -hmm. for in attendance, you can put um, Beth Christensen and then you can put prospective trustee, I think would be a good, or you can put guest comma prospective trustee. Um, and then once we get into the other topic under trustee concerns, when we discuss Jean leaving, we can discuss that you know, Beth is going to run and mm -hmm. all those mm -hmm. fine details. Okay, got it. Sound good? All right, so we're going to go over last month's minutes. Um, had we known a little bit more ahead of time, if we had that email set for you, we would have emailed this to you for you to go over too, so you would not feel left out. But um, other than Beth, did everyone get them and have a chance to go over them? Yes. Yes. Any questions, comments, concerns? No. I don't think so either. My only thing, hold on. I just want to check this real quick before I say otherwise. Um, is, so for Sarah, there's no H. Okay. So, Sarah Foster is our children's librarian. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And she's mentioned in the minutes. So. Yep, I'll correct that. That's Thank a you. teeny tiny little thing. Well, no, it's how she spells her name. It should be correct. Spells her name. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. No problem. That is, I think, the only thing that I saw in it. So yeah, and then she's mentioned again under new business, mm -hmm. just so you know. So yeah, she's only mentioned in the director's report and then in new business. Okay. So that you don't have to go searching for all the Sarahs. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Anything from anybody else about the minutes? No. No. All right. I move to approve the minutes as submitted. I second, Linda Yates. All right, we will take a roll call vote to approve the minutes as submitted. I, Lynette Wheeler, approve. Linda Yates? I approve. Jean Mitchell? I approve. All right, the minutes are approved as submitted. With, with the correction of the name. Well, oh, of, oh, as approved as amended, sorry. The minutes are approved as amend, amended. Um, see that okay. it happens very rarely, Beth. So <laughs> that this no, is, I made y'all nervous. No, no, no. For over Zoom, um, like usually when we're in a meeting and we're sitting yep. face to face, we would, you know, basically everybody goes I. But now because we're on Zoom and people can choose to just listen versus oh, right. watch it, 
um, we have to do a roll call vote. So I have to mention specifically by name and what your vote is, yes or no. Makes sense. So that isn't typical of the meetings. Okay. Um, submitted, what is today? Three, nine. All right. So approved as submitted unanimously. And now we will move on to the director's report. So Bob will email you um, a couple, usually a day or two before the next meeting um, mm -hmm. with the director's report and the financial report. The financial report is a spreadsheet and it's a little intimidating at first. But you yeah, have to delve I can explain it further when yeah. we get there. You can, yeah. you can chat with you further. It's not anything you have to be super concerned about. Um, you just kind of go over it and well, you'll see when we talk about it, you'll see what we do. Um, All right. But you're not responsible for anything on. <laughs> <laughs> but so then the next section of um, that we go over is the director's report. Okay. So everybody received and had a chance to go over the director's report? Yes. Yes. All right, okay. Bob, you wanna take us through it? Sure. Uh, first, I just wanna thank Jean for her time. Thank you for your service. And uh, I congratulate you. I hope you, uh, I hope that things go well for you. And uh, I'm happy that you were a trustee. I'm sorry that you're leaving. And yeah. Beth, uh, I, I'm not sure if we've ever met Beth, but uh, I'm Bob Hodge, the library director. I've been here mm -hmm. eight years, almost wow. exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, I've been through a few trustees and I guess you're next, you're next, you're up <laughs> next. Next in line. <laughs> um, it, I will send you information about being a trustee. Um, and just, you know, uh, useful information to have sure. and uh, yeah okay and okay. Um, all, all right. right as far as my report um you probably notice it looks pretty similar to our last report uh there wasn't too much happening um that i needed to you know report on right since our last meeting um we did have a department head meeting this morning and um the septic project is uh they've executed a contract uh, with the um, excavating company. And so we'll, they were supposed to send me a copy of that, which I will uh, share with y'all. Um, so that um, as far as, uh, I think it's been approved by the, uh, the Board of Health and everyone who needs to approve it. So I would think that the project will be starting fairly soon. Um, the electrical box that was replaced as you know prior to the project starting the actual exca excavating work um i guess the the excavators have uh hired their own electrician to do the finish work uh okay. on that when 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 it's needed um so uh so we did talk about a little bit about that this morning at the department head meeting uh the company is called vandal Excavating. V, v is in Victor, A N D A L. That's right. That's right. That's such a strange. And they did come and do a couple of site visits, uh, even though it wasn't required this time uh, for the bidding. Um, so it's Vandal Excavating. Is that what it's called? Vandal Excavating, yes. Thank you. Uh, as for the other items on the director report, uh, some of those are there from last time. Uh, the one big item, uh, last week I did meet with uh, fellow local directors from uh, neighboring towns to talk about, you know, some of, uh, some of our neighbors have reopened by appointment mm -hmm. and uh, it's something that we'll be looking into doing. Um, so it was a it was a good meeting. I got some good suggestions uh, uh, for policies and so forth. I sent you something today with further information uh, specific to libraries reopening. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So um, 
And also, I didn't mention on my report, but I do have a, a user council meeting next week. User council, that's our, yep. all the libraries in the network uh, have representatives to the user council. And so uh, I'm sure there'll be some talk about uh, reopening plans there as well. Uh, when is that meeting happening, Bob? Uh, that'll be uh, March 16th, so a week okay. from today. Okay. And of course, it's a Zoom meeting as well. Mm -hmm. Usually before COVID, we would travel to some library that would be hosting it. Um, mm -hmm. So there's something to be said for Zoom. I don't have to drive all over the state every couple of months <laughs> with some of them. I mean, I actually, you know, enjoyed seeing some libraries that I had never visited before, but Mm. But yeah, that's what little... we get excited about visiting on the <laughs> I mean, it is good. It's good to get out once in a while, but you know, <laughs> the meetings are the meetings do take you know two to three hours sometimes. So, mm. they can probably um, be pretty far away, I'm sure. Yeah, and uh, I did uh, add something to my report uh, regarding uh, reopening with COVID that um, if you want to look that over as well. Yep. Um, there is a uh, video there of a Ma uh, Massachusetts Municipal Association meeting uh, with this uh, doctor from UMass did talk about uh, libraries and uh, in particular. So that could be helpful just um, you know, as we move forward, my next uh, step is really to to plan to have a meeting with the staff and go over the things that we need to have in place to uh, open by appointment. Okay. But um, you know, I, I don't foresee us trying to reopen any time in the next couple of weeks. It'll probably be at least two or three weeks away. Okay. There are still some steps we need to take within the building, uh, you know, and to make sure that we're ready. Yep. And the reason we're doing it by appointment is just to, it, it, I was thinking about not doing it by appointment, but I don't know if that's even really feasible once I talk to the other directors. Um, it, it just gives you more control. Uh, yeah, we're such a small space, I think it's wise. Yeah, and sometimes uh, with, with having to quarantine the items before we can even uh, send them out or shelve them, you know, that's that adds to the work and Sometimes when you're in the process of doing that, it wouldn't be a good time to have patrons walking around in the library. Right. So, you know, uh, we can make uh, make the appointments for whenever it's more, you know, convenient to us and at a time when we can, uh, you know, supervise. <laughs> but at least uh, it's good to, you know, that we're at least uh, getting close and hopefully more people are getting vaccinated and the weather's getting better, and so hopefully things are looking up, and we're not going to take any backward steps. Um, so that's mainly what uh, we've been uh, concerned with. Um, it'll be good to see this septic project finally underway. Mm. And I think I've been talking about septic uh, for every one of the last eight years. Uh, but anyway, so finally, we're making a move. Do anyone have any questions about the report? I only saw a typo in your first bullet point uh, okay. about the library pages. It says, we will look to be posting a posting a position. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. A posting needs to come out. Posting a position is what I'm guessing you meant. Yeah. I'll, all right. I will but fix that. Not, not try to nitpick. Just. Yeah, the, the library pages. Uh, you know, as you know, uh, they're usually only scheduled to work two hours a week and one Saturday a month for three hours. Um, but since COVID, we've only just been bringing them in as needed for yeah. some of the duties that they would normally do, um, you know, just aren't there with the opening and closing. Um, so we have three of the four will be graduating from high school and uh, probably moving on from library page uh, work. but. Um, but uh, one or two of them may be here for the summer. So we'll, we've been just, I guess what I'm trying to say, all I'm trying to say is we're juggling the hours. What age do they have to be? 
they uh, no, um, they have to be 14. Okay. Yeah. And there is a. Uh, I send my oldest down to you. Yeah. Uh, when I post it, when I post it, you know, we leave it up for <laughs> my quiet time. Actually, is that a conflict uh, of interest? <laughs> Can she do that uh, if I'm a trustee? Uh, I don't know. Well, I, don't know. Uh, I can't life, remember from the training if it is or not. Yeah, it's it's you know not a job that's very feasible for an adult, and it's. It's almost no, no, kind of like her. a job training program for our um, youth. Um, right. So if my, in, but is it a conflict of interest if my daughter does it, if I'm a trustee? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. I don't no. want to do it. No, no, yeah. I'm a daughter. <laughs> no, it's not a conflict. No. Okay. She can apply like anyone else. And yeah. She has to get a work permit from the school guidance department. Yeah, and you'll be all she set. has to, uh, the, anyone who applies for the job uh, or, or who gets the job, I should say, uh, has a boatload of paper to fill out. Uh, it's even more paperwork than a normal employee because they're minors, as Jean mentioned. So uh, they get to get permission from the schools and they can only do certain types of work, etc. cetera. Uh, okay. So it, it's intimidating. And just as a model. side note, yeah. only because I had to go through this before, you have okay. to have a promise of employment before you get the work permit exactly yes, yes. Yeah. yeah yeah so that um, process. so bob i will take that extra um word those two extra words out of your report because i i started to um oh. attach your report to the minutes so i'll take care of amending that okay so that what goes on line will will be corrected oh great Thank okay you. Yeah. all right um and I think that's it for my report. All right. Anybody's got questions, comments? No. Nope. All right. You. I will move to approve it as amended. I will second. All right. A roll call vote to approve as amended. Lynette Wheeler, I approve. Linda Yates. I approve. Jean Mitchell. I approve. Approved as amended unanimously. And we move on to financials. All right, well. Everybody got a copy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Anybody have any questions? I nope. didn't. Then we will let Bob take it away. All right, so our spending is on track. Um, I did receive uh, a ledger from June, a town accountant uh, covering July through the end of January. So that helps to, um, helps me that I can, you know, uh, match it up with our tracking of the spending and just uh, make sure that, they're the same, so are, are close, or there's a reason why they're not. So, um, no big, uh, no big payments this month. Just a typical mm -hmm. spending on supplies and services. Mm -hmm. um, I did neglect to add into the spreadsheet on additional income the first half payment that we did receive from the state in state aid um, that would be under additional income LIGMEG. Uh, so okay. we, we, we budget, uh, I usually budget in that column uh, approximately what we got in uh, or what the bill was to be a member of the network uh, last year because, and also what we received in state aid for the last few years, I've been kind of matching up and we use that money, that additional income money uh, for the membership in the network because normally in normal times, we would have to spend that 19% of our appropriated monies on materials. So um, we don't wanna be spending our appropriated monies on something like membership in the network because we need those funds to go into 
supplies uh, go into uh, materials. Um, so just so I'm clear, the additional mm -hmm. income you you did not include the first half of the state aid that that we've it's, gotten. It's not on the spreadsheet. That it's I not on the spreadsheet. You. Okay. Um, and and I, where is I've that under? It. Yeah. Okay. Where is that under in the spreadsheet? What um, line item is that? Uh, it's called additional income. Additional income. Okay. And, it's, uh, and, it's and you, leg mag, which is you know an acronym for. L E G L L I G L I G uh backslash M E G M E G okay and you usually you you said that this the additional income you're going to use for what did you say it's for our membership in the CW Mars oh, network okay yeah so we have a little, we, we have a little bit uh, of a cushion in there as well from past state aid contributions. It's on a separate ledger that, um, that June sends to me periodically. Um, okay. And, and that ledger has all of the uh, additional income on it. Things like, you know, fines, uh, donations that we get. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have a revolving account that is for the donations. I mean, for the uh, fines. Mm -hmm. okay, well, thank I you. I had a question. Mm -hmm. um, just looking at, just remind me quick, the percentage when it turns red, does that mean? Right. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> okay. So can you that's, talk to me about the. Uh, it's, a, it's just kind of an alert that you're overspending in that category. So we're- It's only important- Both our that, supplies. Yeah. We're over for adult materials. Yep. Uh, you know, but we're under for children. So, so you know, you, you, so these hope that these things should balance out. So we're in the eighth month of the fiscal year and it should be at 66.6%. Okay. And uh, so anything that's over that is going to show up red. Right. All right. Um, well, I think that's the only thing that's showing up red. That in bottled water, you guys need to slow down on the yeah. drinking. Well, actually, <laughs> at, at our uh, department head meeting, I, I drink the most. I, I am. I it's can't pass the water cooler without getting some water. But. Um, and then you guys, you and Sarah are over. And is that just because it didn't factor in the raises? Uh, it's actually um, Karen and Sarah oh, that are Karen over. and Sarah are over. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm spot on. I'm 66.6. 66.6. Six. <laughs> You're doing great. So. Um, yeah, part of that is, uh, part of it is that for Sarah, I would say yes. Okay. That is. That That's is. the market. That, that was that market adjustment, right? Right. Uh -huh. How about been, Karen? Karen has been working a few more hours because Katie, our other circulation services person, yeah. has been out a fair amount. And okay. she's she's pretty far behind. She's at 41.9 and she I really should that. be at 66. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's had some family uh, issues. Okay. And she, she normally works 10 hours a week. And uh, so Karen's been filling been in. For about yeah. Karen would be filling in. Yeah. Filling in, okay. And Karen is also, if I ever go down and I, I have to be out, Karen would would uh, would take over my position and be paid at my wage. So okay. you, you can that see is. that on the library payroll. You can see a, yeah. a mm -hmm. place holder for, for that. Yep, I knew that. Okay. There are some things in the spreadsheet that I want to uh, improve or work on. Okay. Um, you know, some of the categories that we have. Uh, but um, particularly, say, in the services. Um, But You're talking like alarm, copy, CW Mars, that category? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could go through each one line by line, um, but um, if you want me to. 
you don't need to. But yeah. No. So, but that. when you say when you say improve, do you mean just in terms of how you um, account for it, or? Yeah, in the first, well, in the first instance, say in the materials, you know, that there are uh, formats, for example, that we don't spend on like we used to, mm -hmm. because they're kind of morphing into different things. DVDs eventually will probably go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that way. Um, so, and then, you know, things just change. The bottled water situation, um, uh, June was saying today that they may be changing the their company, um, so we may we may not be getting our bottled water in the same fashion that we have in the past through uh, okay. what started out as Poland Spring, or whatever mm -hmm. they are Nestle or something now. Nestle. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And things like I I tend to put a lot of things in office supplies. Yeah. Uh, something brown. It just anything like you know copy paper or uh, right. things that we need to process the books to get them ready for circulation. That makes sense. So if yeah, if you have copy paper and you're putting it in office supplies, yeah. it makes more sense to put it in copy machine. Let's we combine copy right. machine into office supplies. Yes. So one Sometimes. line. Is that what you mean? Right, as opposed to yeah. Two lines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Um. And I think I explained this before, but each and month I do the warrants, too. everything, every bill that gets paid is on a warrant. Yeah. So you can, uh, in the spreadsheet, go to each individual month and see which warrants were paid, which invoices, and then they populate the, the summary sheet. So if you just want to look at a particular month, you can, you can go to that month. Okay and see exactly what's been paid or submitted for payment. I did have a trustee along, uh, I think the, when I first started, uh, and he helped me a lot with the spreadsheet. He was very good. Uh, All right. Do may have any questions? Concerns? I do not. No. All right. I will move to approve the, the financial report as submitted. I, Linda Yates, uh, second. All right. A roll call vote to approve the financial report as submitted. I, Lynette Wheeler, approve. Jean Mitchell. I approve. Linda Yates. I approve. All right, approved unanimously as submitted. And oh, Beth, someone has to second. So whenever I say I move to approve something, someone has to second it. Okay. Can't just be me. <laughs> um, and we can move into old business. Bob kind of touched on septic. That's really all our old business is right now because COVID. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of already went over septic. I don't know, Linda, if you want, any notes that you took on the septic, even though he was, we were technically in financial report, we can put those notes about the septic under old business. Okay, will do. Um, or you could put a note in old business that says was discussed during financial report review. That's what or I usually report review, whatever. That's what I usually do because that's yep. usually what happens. It ends up having been discussed it's before already, we get to it. His report. Yeah. So yeah, I, I can re I, I can readjust the agenda. Um, the agenda automatically populates. I think that Charlene had set it up that way. Um, so oh, I think it's it's fine. I mean, I think it it reflects where that the discussion happened. It just yeah. it reflects when it happened. I, I think it's probably fine the way it is. Yeah. So um, I don't really have anything for new business. I just have a quick question for Bob. Um, do we, and just because like electronic media is constantly evolving and how people get news, do we have any subscriptions to like podcasts 
that patrons can access or no? Uh, not necessarily. I don't, the podcast. I don't even know if you can do it. I'm just asking because I know a lot of people do like to get information from podcast. They do, yeah. Linda, um, minutes, you can put that in trustee concerns. Not under new business, but under trustee no, concerns. Con yeah, that's a concern. Okay. Um, we do subscribe to something called Newsbank uh, that patrons can use in the library or from home. Uh, but it's 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 a news source, so it has a lot of newspapers. It has the Worcester Telegram in it, so we can uh, we can go back to the 1990s uh, for for you know, to look for our obituaries was the most common thing that we're seeking out. Um, podcast. It's, uh, it's called Newsbank, Bob? Newsbank, yeah. And how do people access it? They, they access it with their library card. Well, if they're in the library, then they can just uh, sign right on to it. Uh -huh. if and if they're of, from home, can they do from it? From home, yeah. There's so how a, do they do it on our, on our library website, there's a, a link to it uh, in their internet resources. Um, so that's one of the only big okay. databases we actually subscribe to since there are uh, so many sources available on the internet at this point. So uh, we do subscribe to a lot of print uh, magazines, uh, some of which we have also uh, online uh, access to. Uh, through our through our subscription so um is that also through news uh bank no that's other mag no that's uh that would be uh just through the individual publications like and how do people say, get like, that on magazine sometimes like when you subscribe uh, to that magazine again, well online link not people saying that are that more likely in you know prior to covid people would borrow magazines our magazine right. circulate but mm -hmm. right now, nobody is uh, circulating. Well, I shouldn't say nobody, but we're, we're not circulating them at the moment. OK, so you, you can't. But I thought you said that there were some online subscriptions for magazines. There are. Um, they would and access a lot of them through OverDrive, which was our ebook platform. So uh -huh. there's a lot of overlap in these publications and news sources. Um, as far okay. as them being in online databases and print uh, available mm -hmm. on a lot of different platforms. Mm -hmm. So the one that has the most is uh, a good collection anyway is and freely available with your library card is uh, Overdrive. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, and there's information on our website about how to access these things. Um, okay. Yeah, Beth. Yeah. Um, Occasionally we offer training. It's usually ad hoc where somebody just says, I'd like to know how to use some of these sources. And you just either, you know, it, it formally, you know, they would come in the library and we would show them. But um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, now we try to do as much as we can online. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, so, Beth, if you have any reluctant readers in your mm -hmm. home, you know, I do. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, especially when it comes to like, book reports or summer reading mm -hmm. overdrive is an app and you can get audiobooks on it awesome. so you can get the book from the library so they can be reading the book but following along with the audio like lex needs to do that yep. it just helps her understand the material better so mm -hmm. overdrive is an awesome resource resource for reluctant readers and it's free sorry Hold on. It's okay. I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> Crazy dogs. Mute the dog. <laughs> Crazy dogs in a house full of boys. Yeah, not only do I have the four boys, I've got three dogs. Three dogs? Three I didn't knew you had two. You have three? Three, yeah. Wow. I have a big dog. I'm a big dog. She's like 12. And then I've got the two little ones that are turning two, actually, April 1st. Oh, well, that's right. You got two at the same time, right? Yeah, they're sisters. Oh my goodness. Yep. And they're just crazy. They're so funny though. Like wouldn't be the same without them, just like my children. 
<laughs> I actually had a quick question, and I don't know if you guys have ever um, addressed this in the past, um, you know, in your past meetings, but with COVID, um, actually before that, but I had a library card a while ago, and I have not uh, renewed it. So how would I do that during COVID? You can do oh. it over the phone. You can just call the library and do it over the phone. I okay. could probably do it right now. <laughs> well, maybe we'll wait till we're not recording. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good idea. So um, uh, after the end of the meeting, when I say the meeting is adjourned, okay. I will shut the recording off and you can give Bob your info and he can check in. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, don't, I should probably get my library jump card. Off. When yeah, I Beth, turn the meeting, Beth, I'll jump off. <laughs> Beth, they... um. Your, your card just expires every two years, just automatically. Okay. Yep. Uh, just tr try to keep people's information up to date. So you mm -hmm. do have a card. It did expire. But uh, if all your information is the same, I can just yep. go ahead and update it. So, uh, well, I'll double check it because it's been a little while. So I'll right. just double check the information, make sure it's yeah. correct. Yeah. Yep. And you can just, you know, you can just call me or whatever, and we can just go ahead and update it. Okay. All right. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. My dog's going to go nuts. Okay. Um, so I guess technically for the minutes, you can reflect that there was no new business. Mm -hmm. and I did. Concerns. We had Jean's question about podcasts, and this is where we can discuss um, Jean moving on. And okay. when, are you, uh, when are you leaving, Jean? It's going to be a while or? No, we're actually because we had the other house on deposit and because we have to move livestock, which involves putting poles in the ground. Oh, wow. Um, we're, yeah, we're going to be moving um, Easter weekend. So hopefully very quick. Wow. Okay. So uh, your resignation is effective March. What did you say in your email? Uh, I think it was the 14th. 14th, okay. 14th. I think it's the right. 13th. Let me look at the email real quick so we have it. Yeah, I want to uh, put that in the March, minutes. Yeah, because 13th. I want to make sure I'll still. So you did tell that to Eloise, right? You Did you discuss that with Eloise? Or you're just saying that that's yes. the date. You She's got everything because okay. I CC'd her on it. Yeah, okay, because it has to be like in the oath. So Beth, you'll take an oath saying that you, you swear in and one of the statements that you make is that you won't leave until someone can fill the position. Um, so I'm sure we'll hear from Eloise on how that goes. So I would say effective the 13th, if it, it, the thing is that you made it a Saturday, Jean, so I don't know that. Well, we can make it a Friday. It's just. You need to make it a day that Eloise is there because Eloise would need to swear Beth in. On the same day. That you're, yeah, right? I don't know. Well, if, well, if, before, you know, no, if not necessarily. Be, meeting. Yeah. Yeah. If she swore Beth in on the Monday after, wouldn't yeah. that be? So we'll have to ask Jean, can you email? I'll give you another task before you leave us. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you email Eloise just so we have all our ducks in a row and find out? Because she, she, gave, yeah, Beth, she gave Beth nomination papers. So can you find out when the election is? Yep. And find out now. Does Beth get? Does she get to be like an interim trustee until she's actually elected? Um, and find I out what day it has she's to go down to swear in. Yeah, I believe it may have something to do with the board of selectmen. So I just wanted to make sure that we were covered as far as approving payroll, and we don't have any gaps. Yeah, yeah. so I can't issue. make it. We're another make, Thursday or something. Yeah, we're going to make it so that Linda is going to do that. We're going to do that tonight. We're going to vote to allow it be Linda and I because we don't know 100% what Beth's qualification will be or not qualification, right, right. but official. Oh, no, but this official. Be, she's not officially able to do that. Official trustee. 
Yeah. Linda and I can sign payroll. Um, we can leave it the way it is this week because I think we have to approve these minutes first. Mm. So um, we might have to do what, like we did last time. We might have to have another meeting to approve these minutes. So, mm. and, and again, it would have to be open meeting law. So I've got to schedule it at least a week out. Um, mm -hmm. That's the other thing, Beth, too. We can't just say, oh, we're going to have a meeting tomorrow because I have to give the public five business days of notice to get to the meeting. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just looking at March. So today's so the ninth. We, we need to do that. We should the fourteenth. The fourth. The fourteenth is five days. Um, I think the way it works is you can designate one person, right? We this is what we tried That's to do the last well, time. I mean, we got that email from June. If yeah. What happened was be, you you are the chairman. Yes. Yes. So, um, but somehow in the message in 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 the approval process, um, we designated you. Um, I think it was just it's the 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 one signatory can be any of the three, and we made it. I, I don't know. There was something in the it had to be like a language. Majority. There was she something was like, in the language that June just didn't approve of. So yeah, she wanted like three of five, and I'm like, we only have three trustees, not five. Yeah. So the the but the deal is, it only two trustees have to sign. It doesn't matter who the two trustees are. Yeah. So you and Linda can sign it going forward. Hold on um, one second. I don't. You don't actually need. I don't think you actually need these approved uh, meeting minutes. As long as but, well, that's what June the three said, trustees that are signed. Have to, it has to be approved and make it official. So I think that's if you only want to make it one trustee. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, we. I don't think, Baba. Do you have to technically go to every meeting? Like, if are you worried about not being able to make the next one to do the approval? Oh no, not okay. at all. I I just. I just think this whole thing uh, with the signing, you know, of the payroll is just, um, you know, for a long time it was just the, the one person, and it was always the chairperson, and uh, and that does have to be approved. Uh, and, you know, the approved minutes have to be sent to to June, and and, and you know that and that's the whole process. Last time that didn't really happen. But since COVID and you don't need an actual signature, uh, just the electronic, uh, we just kept going, you know, with two trustees signing. Right. The reason we only wanted one was so we wouldn't have to chase down one, you know. Two people. Uh, two people. But she, but she felt that there should be two. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I go it has back to be two, unless you designate. That it has to be one. two. Okay. So that's not what she said. Hold on. Let me. Okay. I'll tell you. She was like, "No, it can't be." It yeah, but she be also thought trustee. we had five trustees. So. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well. So. I mean, if we want to do a meeting before the end of March, that's fine, you know, just to just to approve. approve. Well, the, so five days from today. Well, so five days from today is the 14th, which is a Sunday. <laughs> we thought that we had four trustees and she wanted three out of the four to sign it. Okay. Um, yeah, so maybe could we make the meeting that following Tuesday? The 16th? Yeah. Yep. I mean, I can get the minutes out it's, tomorrow. I mean, I'll definitely be able to do it. That's not a problem. Okay. Okay. So 16th. We can just have a quick little. Yeah, because unfortunately, my new house is in like the woods. There's nothing around our 11 acre farm and cell phone service is not that great. So we have to wait for dish 
before we'll have internet. So, so will you be able to access information? Will you be able to access the meeting on the 16th, Jean? Yeah, that's not a problem. We'll still be okay. here. It's oh, only you'll still be here. after okay. April. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, it's only after April. the beginning of April that okay. I would have to so then, yeah, like I drive to the neighboring mountain to get a signal. Okay, so then so then would would your re resignation then need to be on the next day or cuz you can't approve minutes if you've already resigned? Yeah, well that's what well, I wanted you, to know cuz I can send a uh, amended. Well, here's the thing. If you resign on the 17th, it's a Wednesday and that's when Eloise is there late, so that would still give Beth opportunity to go down and sign in. All right, well, I'll just change it to that and send it back out yeah. then, not a problem. Just, just send Eloise a note and let her know that we had to reapprove minutes saying that Linda and I were gonna be payroll signatures and, or you can sure. Eloise. Um, okay. And find out if, not Beth a problem. Needs to, if Beth needs to go down to swear in what her hours are on Sunday, and then you can let Beth know and in the meantime, Beth can come up with an email for trustees. Yeah, I know Wednesday, she's usually there kind of late into the evening, like yeah, seven, eight like o'clock, so. We're seven to nine or something on Wednesdays. Yep. So. Yeah, okay. she'll just make an appointment for you. And it's literally five minutes, Beth. You go in and you read the thing and. Does she need to do the, um, that, she um, can do that between now and then. Ethics um, thing. I can before oh, yeah, she work all the time. Do you, Jean? Do you have Jean or Linda? Do you have the links to the ethics thing? I probably do. I'd have to look. Yeah, I'd have to dig around. I know Eloise has it because yeah. she sent yeah, it. Yeah, uh, that's that's so, where I got it from. But I bet I I, I probably have it somewhere. Or she my... send it to me. Yeah, she will. So Jean, here's the thing. Can you ask Eloise if Beth needs to swear in when you leave to at least be interim? Um, if she has the links to the online stuff, um, Beth will create a trustee email so she can give that to Eloise. But just find out from Eloise if that's what she needs to do and then just let Beth know when she needs to swear in and all that. Because if Eloise gave her nomination papers, I'm just wondering if she's not gonna swear her in until she, I don't know when the election is either. Does anybody know when the next town election is? Isn't it like- No. Me? Well, yeah. no, she said something about the select board may have to appoint her and stuff. So it's yeah. best to talk to her directly to get uh, the process. Yeah, well, she gave, yeah. she did talk to her, but she got, she gave Beth nomination papers. Yeah, I yeah. have to get signatures. Yeah, correct. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure I would have to, I'm going to talk to her and find out. Yeah, and on that paperwork, I did notice that she put something about if I'd be able to be reelected and she said no, which I don't know if that's just because, you know, I'm just taking over the term for you or whatever you want to call it yes so, so you'd be in the interim until the election yeah okay but that that and that's approved by the select board okay all right okay so just make sure so that i have, have this send a zoom select board meeting and their yeah, next meeting have... so their next meeting is march 14th if you want to mark that down it looks all like right. select board is meeting march 14th at 8 p.m that's fine. I got it. Um, well, generally Mondays at some exceptions, 8 p.m. Um, when do they do it? Like every Monday or once a month? Generally, uh, uh, they typically meet every Monday at 7 p.m. But um, this one says, that one says Sunday, March 14th at 8 p.m. I don't know why there's an a special one. I wonder. Oh, is the fifteenth a holiday? Maybe? No. Oh, I don't think so. No. 15th. Hold on, I'm checking the My Town Government website because they have to post the meeting there. Okay. Um. So let me just check. 
see now, according to this, their next meeting is, what's today? The ninth. The ninth. Let me see what their agenda is. Why are they having a meeting tomorrow or Thursday? For what? It looks like they have a meeting scheduled on Zoom. So if you go to mytowngovernment.org, um, you click Berlin and then you can click select board and it says that their next meeting is um, March 11th at 6.30 p.m. And then they have one March 15th, which is their typical Monday meeting at 7 p.m. But they have one scheduled for March 11th. And I don't know if that's a special meeting to continue something from the last meeting. It's for a planning committee. Mm -hmm. It's a planning, like regional planning event, I believe. I think I just saw something about it. Um, uh, yeah, that sounds right. It says that their, their agenda doesn't have anything on it. Hmm. It says to be determined. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it's it's an event. It's not an actual meeting. So wouldn't say, wouldn't a call to Eloise just yes that that'll clarify Correct. everything for Beth. Absolutely. I mean, um, but just so I understand, so their what the, actual meeting is yeah their official meeting is March fifteenth, which is a Monday. Yeah. Okay. okay. March fifteenth. Um, yeah. Okay. So I would I would try to contact Eloise. And ask her what we need to do in the interim. Right, right. And what do we need to do in the interim? And I know if you need to attend the March fifteenth select board Zoom meeting, because we want to get that taken care of as soon as possible. Because right, if yeah, I believe she does. Okay, so the the process then would be that we would that we would meet on March sixteenth. Monday or Tuesday to approve. Is it Tuesday the 16th? So let's put yes. in, um, yes. in the minutes for trustees' concerns. Yeah. We are switching the payroll approval from mm -hmm. Dean to you, Linda. Mm -hmm. Do we need to vote on that? Yes, we're going to vote on that. Yeah. Well, why don't we do that? Okay. I move to nominate that Linda Yates become a signature signator for yeah. library signature payroll, library payroll approval with Jean leaving us to replace. I Jean. second that Jean Mitchell. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a roll call vote to have Linda Yates replace Jean Mitchell on library payroll sign off. I, Lynette Wheeler, approve. Jean Mitchell? Jean Mitchell, do you approve? Yes, I approve. Sorry, it was glitching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I approve. <laughs> All right, approved unanimously. We will have Linda Yates now signing payroll. Okay. With myself, Lynette Wheeler, the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. Okay. We so will now have that we a mini meeting March 16th, March the, only 16th. Item, the only item on the agenda will be to review and approve tonight's minutes, tonight's which is minutes. three nine minutes. And um, Jean so Mitchell will be present at that meeting to approve Jean those will minutes. Be present at that meeting to approve those minutes, yes. And then Jean and Mitchell's from, resignation will be effective the 17th, then. Yes, the correct. That's what we're gonna go for right, right. Think, and Beth and Beth will need to get sworn in, and um, she will contact the town clerk in order to find out what the process is for getting her approved as an interim. And I'm not going to talk about the select meeting and all that. Yep. We'll just let let that happen yeah, however it's going to happen and yeah. you can fill us in at the next meeting <laughs> um, do we know is eloise does she work on thursdays i think she does i think she's okay. there in the morning 
Yeah. Uh, Halloween so does awesome. respond really well to email. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you can email or you can call and leave a message. And there's also a kid that works in our office. I say kid, he's just younger than Eloise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he's, he's good to talk to you too. So you can okay. talk to either one of them. Um, and hopefully you'll come back to us mm -hmm. on the 16th with updates. So if you go to the meeting on the 15th, Jean, remember this. Should you have to attend the meeting on the 15th, the select board meeting, if you're going to attend to see what goes on with Beth, if like if Beth has to go and they want you to be there, right? You you're going to have to take minutes. Because, well, unless Beth's not sworn in. No, if Beth, nope, I take that back. Beth won't be sworn in, so it's not a quorum. It's just you. You'd be clear. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, you can always <laughs> just be in the audience. It's not a problem. Well, because we're trustees, right? If and there's only three of us. Well, technically, there might be a point where there's four of us for a small little minute mm -hmm. when you join us. Um, <laughs> if there's two or more of us together, it's considered a quorum, and you have to take minutes. Gotcha. So okay. Okay. if we went to, you know, the board of health meeting. You'd because have to they're talking in. about the septic, yep. we would have to take minutes and call it joint trustees and board of health meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't meeting. think I need to be there. So yeah, no, no, no. I'm just there. saying if they said for some reason they wanted you to be there to officially tender your resignation to them mm -hmm. and have yep. to say yes, like, I don't, I don't know what the protocol is. That's why I'm saying you guys got to figure that out. Um, I got it. I'll figure it out. So yep. yeah, Beth, if you talk to Eloise and she says she wants to yep to go to the select board meeting too i mean you don't stay for the whole meeting i don't think you just sign in do it your part and yep to put you in the agenda um but yeah i don't think you i don't know i, I don't know i just want to be okay safe. well we'll but we'll, I just want to we'll cover figure that bases. out yeah I think so we will okay. have a meeting um on the 16th okay is there a time that is five o'clock is good for me does five work for you, Beth? How late do you usually work? So five is difficult only okay. because, um, unfortunately, the position that I'm at right now at my job, I don't know if I'm going to go over time. I'm supposed to get out at 4.30, but on occasion, I've had to work till almost six. Okay. So um, it's not common, but it happens. And I don't know, like, you know, if it'll be today, tomorrow, you know what I mean? It's like really random. Um, okay. is, I mean, I can do my best to get here for five for sure. Um, is six, well, this, okay that, or is that, that, meeting, not good? that meeting, I don't think it will be too big of a deal. I have to, um, email the town administrator first and see if I okay. can book time then. Okay. Um, typically moving forward, we would have to change the day of our meeting because there's other meetings happening. Like this is why we moved it back to five because there's okay. another meeting happening at seven. So we mm -hmm. have to be signed off this Zoom channel oh, by right. 30. Um, okay. But moving forward, hopefully mm -hmm. in the next month, we'll be able to meet in person. I think right, people right. are getting vaccinated. If the library is open mm -hmm. and there's not a restriction because it's it's not really based on how many people can gather, like you know, right. 10 people can gather. I think mm -hmm. it also includes the square footage, not 100%. Right, right. Um, so many, yeah. But I think our next meeting not not the March 16th meeting, but our next meeting is April 13th. Um, at that meeting, I think we'll discuss possibly meeting in May in person. Unless we hear, um, I hear from Bob after the March 16th meeting that the April 13th meeting can be in person, right? That'd be great. Yeah. Um, but once we meet in person, it's much easier because we don't have the Zoom restrictions. So we could say, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be in person. We can pick any day we want. We can pick any time we want. It's not set in stone. Right, um, right. And there's there's only the three of us plus Bob to work with um, to do time. But the thing is, like, we can't change it last minute. Okay. So, so at what the I end of the meeting, we have to decide when the next meeting is going to be and the time it's going to be because I have, to, like I said, I have to post it on my town government and it right. can't be changed at that point. But if we're doing it in person and you show up 10 minutes late, it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, so, I mean, for the time being, then we can just leave it for five. And um, just on those days, I'll just make sure that I'm out 
I'll make arrangements to get out a little bit earlier. So, so it's just those two, because... those two. And then, like I said, yeah. on the 13th, we can go from there. We can figure out if we're meeting in person too, it can be, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, have thir fine. you have Thursdays off. My farm oh, is no, closed. Not normally. Thursdays. I just have this Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just this Thursday? Yeah, just this Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we, we'll it's figure it out. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So the March 16th meeting will be at five and the April 13th meeting will be at five. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do that. All and right. I'm going to ask um, Mary to book both of those and I'll put them on my town government. Hopefully as soon as I hear back from her tomorrow, you'll see. Um, Beth, what um, do you, let me give you my email i'm gonna but you can message me if it's better yeah, well wait i'm gonna i think we're good for this meeting i'm gonna wait for bob to pop back on screen when he does i'll adjourn the meeting but uh just don't sign off because once i adjourn it i'll shut the recording off i'll give you my email address okay. when you set up that trustee email yep. just email me back what it is and then mm -hmm. um i'll forward you some stuff okay like the, like the next the next meetings and the agenda um, and then you can communicate trustee stuff back and forth with me through that. Good. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Try to keep all the trustee stuff in one place, like I said, so that it yeah. doesn't get. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Right. No worries. I think we're good, Bob. Do you have anything okay. to add? No, no. I think I'm good. Anybody got anything else to add? I don't. No. All right. I move to adjourn this meeting at 6.14 p.m. Oh, wait, no, I move to adjourn the meeting. I, Linda Yates, second. All right, roll call vote to adjourn the meeting. Jane Mitchell? Or, I, go ahead. I vote to adjourn. Linda Yates? I vote to adjourn. I, Lynette Wheeler, vote to adjourn. And we are voted unanimously to adjourn at 6.14 p.m.